Hello everyone, Creative Fun here, back again with another video. Uh, as the title uh, indicates, we are taking on one of the new uh, Chinese uh, warships that's been added recently to DCS. It's a Chinese destroyer, uh, which name I cannot pronounce, so I'm not going to try that. Uh, regardless, we're going to take on this Chinese destroyer, which is supposedly is kind of like current gen. And I want to have a look and see how the VIG, and being a fairly old aircraft, only with the slight upgrade from the to the AJS in the early early 90s, uh, can handle a ship like that. So the Viking is equipped with uh, RB-15F, which is Sweden's most advanced anti-ship uh, cruise missile, and it is a cruise missile. This missile has an insane amount of range. I think something in the magnitude of 35 to 40 mile, nautical miles in range, with 70 kilometers you can fire it from. Uh, so this means this is a true standoff anti-ship weapon. So for the past few days I've been experimenting on how to engage the Chinese destroyer with the Viggen. And initially I tried the RB-04, which is a missile I just think is a little bit cooler than the RB-15. Uh, so I first tried that, but it's just isn't enough. Uh, the missiles, you know, even if I get close enough to actually fire the missiles, which is quite difficult, uh, the missiles just aren't good enough to not be taken down by the Chinese destroyer's defense system. Uh, with the RB-15 it took some, some doing, but finally I managed to figure out a tactics that allowed me to engage it and actually score a direct hit with one of these missiles. Uh, so we're gonna try that tactics and um, just for fun I want to see how many sorties I have to make before I can single-handedly destroy this uh, Chinese destroyer with my one wig in here. So as we head out over the sea here, we're gonna have a look at how I intend to defeat this Chinese destroyer. And as you can hear uh, here, we have already uh, picked it up on the RVR. We are first gonna turn on our uh, radar here, and we're gonna select our waypoint three, which is our target waypoint, and we're gonna head straight towards it. Hopefully we'll pick up the destroyer fairly quickly, and I do believe we have. I'm gonna adjust my target uh, I point a little bit here. Uh, we can clearly see the destroyer on the uh, area here. Let's see. There. So we marked the target uh, fairly accurately. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move forward towards the destroyer and wait for it to until it launches on us. The goal is here is to occupy its, some of its missiles and launch capabilities towards us. So let's see here. Okay, we have a good launch there. So we're going to actually drop down a little bit. Oh, not that quickly. And we're gonna launch one of our missiles. We're gonna turn a bit of the left. We're gonna turn again towards the destroyer as quickly as we can before the missile catches up to us. We're gonna launch a second missile. And then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna drop down and hopefully we can defeat the missiles. There we go, try not to black out. Gonna head in opposite direction, very low. And then hopefully we can just outrun the missiles, which we should be able to do. And I'm gonna climb a bit here now. I believe we have uh, safely outrun the missiles. I'm gonna turn on the autopilot now. And we are going to uh, follow the missiles in and see if they hit. Now the idea of uh, separating the missiles is so it, it kind of makes it more difficult to track uh, tar incoming targets. Uh, in my experiments trying to launch them simultaneously meant that they sometimes were caught in their point defense guns fired together, which meant that uh, the story was able to take out both of them at the same time. In this configuration uh, I was able to score consistently at least one direct hit with uh, one of the missiles. Uh, obviously it's, it hasn't been able to shoot down the missiles with the point defense. You can see it fires on the first missile there. And it, uh, now this missile takes some evasive action. And you can see it's focusing on firing on one of the missiles here, which makes it a little difficult for it to actually attack this missile. And we managed to score a direct hit. Great. So that is one direct hit. Um, as you can see, the tactic worked fairly well, actually. I'm kind of surprised how easy it was to fool those systems if you just gave your missiles a little bit of separation. I can imagine if you are two or three vegans attacking from slightly angled approaches, uh, coordinated, uh, this destroyer will be toast completely. So, but still, we just one vegan, one very old vegan. 
uh, trying its best here uh, not to die. So we're gonna land, rearm, and then we're gonna try uh, that again and see if we can score another direct hit. So we're heading out over sea again after refueling and rearming and uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about my setup here. I'm using, uh, as I said, the RB15 but I'm firing them uh, with the impulse setting so I can release one at a time. Uh, also I am uh, have selected the uh, single target option because well, we're only fighting a single target. So that shouldn't be too big of a surprise. And once again, I'm going to go in towards uh, the Chinese destroyer. You can see it jamming. I'm going to drop down a little bit. I don't want to be too high either. Uh, and I do want a little bit more speed this time. So yeah, you can see, we can clearly see it here on the Wiggins radar, especially for tracking uh, sea target is just excellent. So it's, uh, we can go the beep from its radar. We're just gonna make sure if it's fire here, we're gonna launch our first missile and then our second missile. And we're just doing it in, single, in simple fire mode here, nothing fancy. There we go. And there should be a missile launch fairly shortly after radar lock. There we go. So we fire our first missile and we can see it by just the aircraft tilting a little bit. So we're gonna give us a little bit of this separation here. Uh, one, two, three, and then we're gonna turn in very quickly again. And then we're gonna launch the second uh, missile. Uh, point it toward, second missile away, and then we are going to turn as quickly as the Vigan allows us without blacking out. Uh, and we're gonna basically put the missile at our six and see if we cannot outrun it. We're gonna drop down a little bit here. Be careful not to hit the sea. Like this, so we're gonna keep turning a little bit here. That's nice. And we're just going full speed ahead. And hopefully uh, we released, uh, we're passing the supersonic here, I don't want to do that. Uh, so I do believe we have been, been able to defeat the missiles now. So I'm gonna maintain um, off the burn a little bit, turn on the autopilot. And here we go, and I'm gonna follow the missiles in. So here we go, it fires on the first missile. And here the second missile does some evasive action and heading straight towards it. And once again it launches, it tries to defeat the first missile and has no chance against the second missile and direct hit. Oh, and I think we have some black smoke. Could we have actually defeated? Okay, we're gonna go back. Now, I haven't been able to defeat this destroyer yet. Uh, I really wanted just to record the video of me actually taking it out. So let's see here, we're coming up to our target waypoint here and there's no jamming, uh, which means that, well, obviously we did some serious damage there and I cannot really see the, the Chinese destroyer at all on the scope here. Let's zoom in and see if we can see anything up there. There's some black smoke there, but there's, I think we sank it. Yes. So this has been a short but a fun little experiment uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously the RB15 is still quite <laughs> quite good, at least in DCS. I don't know in real world how good it is, but it's really fun to know that we can take on some modern destroyers with the RB15 and a single Vigen. So let's just have a look at the score here. And yes, we have absolutely uh, sunk the destroyer. Let's see here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes, dead. Guangzhou. Uh, I hope I don't didn't slaughter that name. Guangzhou, maybe. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was a short, uh, little fun video. I just wanted to experiment a bit with the RB15. I haven't yet made any video about it, so I thought it was might be fun to just see how well it fares against a modern destroyer. And uh, obviously, it did very well. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe, uh, push that little bell. Check me out on Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.